I must have slept in. Oh no, the Quidditch match. I need to go to the Quidditch stadium. You're the seeker and you're supposed to be like their number one player. How do you forget all of these matches? Oy vey. It's freaking magic. Anyway, what's up everybody? Leto290 coming out to another awesome video. This is going to be Harry Potter and the Chamber of the Secrets. In the last episode, we defeated Aragog. I completely butchered that intro. We defeated Aragog, and in this episode, we apparently have to go play a Quidditch match that Harry keeps on forgetting he has. Especially when today, it's versus Slytherin. Great time to forget. Uh, so let's just go ahead and keep going and turn the hat in first, actually. Let's see what else we have on the board, too. I really appreciate you finding the wizard hat, Harry. Thanks, and here's a wizard card. Badass is getting wizard cards. <laughs> Best reward ever. Uh, what's the next one? Pair of dragon hide gloves. Last known location near the lake. If found, please return to this notice board. I don't actually think we have to do this one anymore. That, that's a thought. I don't know, because we still have to do, you know this Quidditch match, and of course tonight, uh, because we still have this night, which is the fateful night. The good night. If I can walk through a door, that would be great. But we have tonight, as I believe it's our last night. We'll have to double check, but um, if we don't finish it off, that is a... Oh, okay. I was like, that's a prefect. Why is the prefect in the hall during the day? Scared the crap out of me. He's just like, get to the Quidditch match, Barter. Yeah, I'll get to the Quidditch match. My hair is still a mess. Uh, <laughs> that genuinely scared the crap out of me. Uh, we're just going to continue on then. Because, great fright. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep this episode short. We'll actually try to get tonight in today, if that makes sense. Because this is literally just the Quidditch match. So, uh, to save some time, we're gonna watch the cutscene at the bottom of the stairs, then just cut to the Quidditch match, and then cutscene after cutscene. Because you guys get where everything is at this point, but, uh, here's the cutscene with Ron and Hermione. I'll see you afterwards. Hi, Harry. Big match against Slytherin today. I'm glad it's you that's doing it. After all that flying about and what we found out last night, I can't think straight. Me neither. We can't tell anyone about the diary, and I don't want to be the one who brings up why Hagrid was expelled 50 years ago. And then there's... Kill this time. Let me rip. Tear. The voice. I just heard it again. Didn't you? Harry, I think I've just understood something. I've got to go to the library. What does she understand? Loads more than I do. But why she got to go to the library? Because that's what Hermione does. When in doubt, go to the library. Anyway, Harry, you'd better get moving. The match! So anyway, here we are at the Quidditch Stadium, and we are about to go up against our rival, Slytherin. Who we are actually beating in the House Cup by three points. So, if we win this match, we pretty much win it all. Yeah. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. It's time to move. Today we see and catch the snitch. In a I want to see a parody of that. Someone, someone make a Harry Potter parody of Timber. That would be fun. All right, time to time to get serious. Let's let's do this. We got a race, Malfoy. Get that first ring, swag. Oh yeah, baby. Because as we all know, Malfoy's already gotten his full boost because that's just the way the AI in this game works. Look at that, Mofo coming at us like okay. Slytherin, Slytherin already being a pain in the booty. Not gonna boost. We gon' boost. We gon' boost. And we still ain't even catching up with that Slytherin. Mofo. Malfoy. All right. It's, it's a lot harder to do gameplay commentary than you think. Whenever you're doing something active like Harry Potter. As active as I'm sure Harry Potter is compared to a bunch of other That's a bludger. I don't want to get hit by the bludger. So let's maneuver. Out of sight. Awesome. 
God. It's like the Rogue Bludger, except Hermione doesn't get to blow it up. Let's boost one more time. To leave Malfoy in the deuced. Because it's fun to leave people in the deuced. Because it's deuced. You piece of shit Slytherin Quidditch players. Off my field. Get off my field. Bludgers, Bludgers ain't got nothing on me. Get off me. Hop off me, bro. Go! I'm real sick of this. Okay. This is the part that I hate so much because it's goddamn. I'm getting tired of these motherfucking bludges on this motherfucking playing field. I need to start watching my language again. Gosh. Oh, yeah. Suck it, Malfoy. You just got bounced out. Freaking bludges! Freaking Malfoy! Okay. Don't you dare boost, or I swear to God, I will hunt you down. There we go. All right. Now to catch the snitch. Snitchy! Yay! We win! Hooray! Guess who wins the Quidditch Cup now? Yay! All right. We get three wins. And we... we Oh, we shut them out. Thank you, God. 170 to zero. Oh, wait. You get... Yeah. That way. 170 to zero. Holy crap. Normally it's like 150 to 20 or something, but apparently Slytherin's defense was BS that game. Anyway, let's keep going. Come on. No! No! Okay. It is with great pleasure that I present the Quidditch Cup to Gryffindor. <sighs> oh, God. That scared the shit out of me. I pressed X, and my volume on the TV isn't that great because we get feedback in the microphone, but... Oh, God. I It, it wasn't going. I was pressing X. I'm just like, please don't tell me the game froze. We beat Aragog, and I haven't saved yet. Oh, God. That would have... Sucked massively. Okay. Cutscene time. I'm going to save and then we're good. Harry, that was wicked. Oh, it's such a pity Hermione didn't get to see it. What? Hermione wasn't at the match? No. I haven't seen her since she ran off this morning. I don't know. She's probably got her head stuck in a book somewhere. Anyway... I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. Now we're back up in the bedrooms and we are going to go down and talk to whoever we need to talk to because that is just how the game works, so let's do that. And then we will just proceed on wherever we need to go, which you guys will probably know where. Where were you, Ron? I've been to McGonagall's office, and then I had to go to the infirmary. What? McGonagall told me that Ginny's gone missing. They can't find her anywhere. Oh, no! But it gets worse. It's Hermione. She was attacked. She's been petrified. Huh? They found her just like nearly Headless Nick. Outside Moaning Myrtles. Steph is aboard! McGonagall told me that they were doing everything they could to find Ginny. So, I went to the infirmary to see Hermione. I found a piece of paper in her hand. A page torn from an old library book. That must have been what she was doing before she was attacked. What was the page about? It was all about basilisks. They're giant snakes that live for hundreds of years. Apparently, a basilisk can kill people by just staring at them. Anything else? Yeah, spiders don't like them. They run away when a basilisk is near. And there was something else. Hermione had written the word pipes on the page. Pipes? Pipes? That's all, just pipes. Ron! This is it! This is the answer! The monster in the Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk! A giant snake! That's why I've been hearing the voice and nobody else has heard it. It's because I understand parcel tongue. Harry, do you think Ginny might be in the Chamber of Secrets along with that flipping big snake? McGonagall said they searched everywhere in the castle, but no one knows where the chamber is. We've got to find her. Okay, 
So what we need to know is how the basilisk's been getting round the place. A giant snake. Surely someone would have seen it. Pipes! Pipes, Ron! He's been using the plumbing. I've been hearing the voice inside the walls. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's a bathroom? What if it's in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom? Okay, so what do we do? The place is crawling with prefects looking for Ginny. I'll go first. You join me in Moaning Myrtle's on the second floor. There are going to be prefects in absolutely no raised places. So we'll see you in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. I want you all to take a second, look at this art, which is awesome and very accurate, and then once this is done loading in like five more seconds, I want you to compare. They nailed the Chamber of Secrets in this game. Absolutely nailed it, besides the door, but that didn't actually quite exist yet until the movie. They did a fabulous job with the chamber. It's perfect in every sense of the word. I, I I seriously just can't get over how much I love the Chamber of Secrets in this game. It's... Anyway. Uh, once you get past this little archway, it's boss fight, point of no return type thing. So uh, I hope you all are prepared. Uh, let me just double check. We probably should have gotten a second wig and weld. But we didn't. So... We are just going to go on without it and see what happens. Let's go. Ginny? She won't wake. She's still alive, but only just. Tom? Tom Riddle? You've got to help me, Tom. We've got to get her out of here. There's a basilisk, and it could be along at any moment. The basilisk won't come until it's called. Let me tell you about the real reason Ginny's like this. She's been writing in the diary, my diary, for months. I grew stronger, and stronger on a diet of her deepest fears until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the Serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and nearly headless Nick. No! I'm afraid so. Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. You framed Hagrid! Yes, but you, Harry Potter, how is it that you managed to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? Why do you care? Haven't you realized yet? I am Lord Voldemort, the greatest sorcerer in the world! Sorry to disappoint you in all that, but the greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore's been driven out of Hogwarts by the mere memory of me. He's not as gone as you might think! To business, Harry. 
I'm going to teach you a little lesson. Let's match the powers of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. And here we go with the freaking Basilisk boss fight. Um, just one quick thing, they nailed Tom Riddle's voice actor as well, and they nailed the actual model of the Basilisk, but its, it's animations are kind of weak sauce. I will have to- oh god. I really needed to heal before coming here. Um, I will have to say that Tom Riddle's voice actor and animations and Harry's animations during that cutscene were also top notch. It's like they made this game just for those cutscenes, it's great, but um... Basically, don't die in the Basilisk, is all I can say. But you get the sword, and it replaces all of your spells with the uh, sword spell. I really don't know any other way to put it. But you just have to dodge the Basilisk and dodge all of its techniques until it gives you an opportunity. What is that opportunity? Well, we'll see in a few moments, actually. But uh, just keep an eye out. Make sure that you know where the Basilisk is coming from. Uh, if it's not on one side, it's on the other side, as you guys can probably tell. But uh, we're going to be opening this in the middle, and waiting for the Basilisk to give us an opening. Like right here. Whenever he goes up like this, he's going to spew some of this. Then he's going to roar out loud. We have to cast a spell and try to land it right on the middle. We have to control it with the analog stick. And once we do for a little while, which I am having a terrible time doing, it will launch the sword. The Basilisk will be hurt. I believe you have to hit it a grand total of four times. But the sword will be launched. These rocks are going to start falling from scenic everywhere and you will get destroyed by the rocks every now and then. But you just have to grab the sword and await where the Basilisk comes out. Not right there. Okay. Uh, he gets faster each time you hit him, which is great. I love the fact that the boss battle actually gets harder. Because another anecdote from the GameCube version of the game. Um, <laughs> the Basilisk doesn't actually come out and try to hit you. The Basilisk just comes out of the holes and tries to shoot venom at you, which is easy, easy, easy to dodge. Way too easy to dodge, actually. So he's going to shoot more Venom here. You're going to attack. There we go, got that second attack on. Now we have to see the sword landed over there. The Basilisk is going to go into one of the other pipes over there and I just got smashed by a rock. You will get smashed. They, they have dickish rock placement for anyone and everything, which is why I really think I should have restocked my Wigan Weld because well, there's the Basilisk, and it's Venom, and then there's Rocks. And it's actually a lot more difficult than anything. Really? Already on the next attack. Coolio. Oh, well, I guess not. Oh, snap. Sometimes he just goes up and shoots Venom and doesn't actually, you know, care to hit you. But, you know, good stuff. Still smell him. Kill him. I don't know why I slowed down here. I don't know how to do that. It's probably because I wasn't in front of him and waiting to, you know, kill, kill him. Uh, let's see... Gonna come out of this side again. Awesome. Yes, he is. Where'd he go? There he is. Over here. Go up. No, he's going inside the pipe again. Or not? Yeah. Yeah, he's going in the pipe again. Cool. Probably gonna pop out on the other side. Then. That mesh just kind of said screw it. Um, Middle. There we go. Okay. Come out to the middle. Here, sneaky, 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 sneaky. Your animations are so badass, but I have to kill you. As long as you don't eat me first. Ah, oh, shit. Well, there goes that one. Come on. Right in the center, right on the crest. Right there. No. After a while, it does fade. Ah, damn it. So close. But yeah, sometimes it does fade after a while, and you do have... It's it's harder to control than you would imagine. It's the same thing on the GameCube version, but, you know, the snake doesn't come out and try to you can bruise your butt every single time. Oh, gosh. Kill the 
I'm having a tough time just controlling the darn thing. I don't even know why. It's probably because my brightness is too freaking high up. Uh, because it's... I can see parts of it, but I can't see other parts of it. Uh, shit. Okay. Cool. Hit you. Down. There we go. All right. Now it's going to go on to the platform up near Ginny, John Riddle. Which is the last platform before you have to, you know, son of a nut. This is why I needed that Wigan Wolf. Hey, look, you're not going to stop me. Fuck you. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay. Holy crap, that was close. Here, Snakey Snakey, let me kill you just one last time. There we go. We are going to destroy your face with this last shot. There we go. And that, my dear friends, is the tale of the boy who beat the shit out of the 20-foot snake. Don't know how long the actual basilisk is. I can't remember because I haven't looked up the facts in a while, but it's a long friggin' snake. Definitely more than 20 feet. Definitely more than 20 feet. I botched that completely. And you. Uh, more cutscenes. Yes. <coughs> now thanks i'm really disappointed with all that's happened professor mcgonagall has cancelled this year's exams i was really looking forward to doing all of that revision as you can see harry hermione's made a complete recovery anyway did you know that the house cup is about to be awarded the presentation's in the great hall yeah i hope we've got enough house points to beat slytherin i'd really love to see Malfoy face if we managed to do it two years in a row. Well, when you're ready, Harry, we'll go in. So, now we have to double check that we have enough house points to beat Slytherin. Let me just do that real quick, and if we do, that's 435, 4 dirty 35, and 425. Awesome. The rest of them don't matter, because Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw will never win at this just how it's programmed. Anyway, let's end this with a cutscene. Of course. Come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor. Malfoy's face. Oh, Lord Malfoy's face. Well, that's pretty much the end of the Let's Play.
Harry told them everything. For nearly a quarter of an hour, he spoke into the rapt silence. He told them about hearing the disembodied voice. How Hermione had finally realized that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How he and Ron, following a hint from Hagrid, had followed the spiders into the forest. That Aragog had told them where the last victim of the basilisk, 50 years before, had died. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim, and that the entrance to the basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. But how did you all get out of there alive? Well, it all had to do with loyalty and friendship. And courage. <laughs> Harry, you can't forget that. Yes, and courage too. Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as the 16-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary, and that diary had enchanted Ginny. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. And as for Harry, well, once again, he truly was the boy who lived. And that's it. No credit sequence or nothing. And that's kind of depressing. And if I can remember where I put my controller, that would be awesome. There it is. Okay, found my controller. I don't even know if there's a credits option. No, there isn't even a credits option. It's like, he truly was the boy who lived. Credit sequence rolls, but no. No credits. Anyway, that is the Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for the PlayStation 2. I hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play. It took me three days of actual playing no if we're counting hours it probably took me like a full day so maybe maybe around 18 hours to actually complete playing through it the first time to get myself re-familiarized it and then second time to actually let's play it so anyway really short game really fun game if you really have the opportunity i really really suggest picking this game up because it really is a really i keep saying really it's a very fun game and considering it's for the PlayStation 2 and probably dirt cheap, especially on the new PlayStation 4, PlayStation Live, or whatever, if they do bring it to that, I, I strongly suggest getting it, because it is a very, very fun game. So, anyway, without further ado, let's end this Let's Play. I hope you all enjoyed this series as much as I did. If you did, please leave it a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye. I can dream. I can dream.